So, let's discuss the power of the word yet. One simple three-letter word. Excuse me while I fix my sleeve here. Let's discuss this. Empowering or self-limiting, these statements. I don't know how to flip houses. Is that empowering? Do you feel good about that sentence? Sucks, right? I can't pay off all this debt. Empowering or self-limiting? Limiting, right? I can't pay off all this debt. I have no idea how to retire wealthy. I don't know how to grow my business. I'm not happy. Are you guys motivated yet? Is this exciting this morning? I mean, you jacked up, ready to go? Holy crap, this guy's bringing me down. I'm not living a life that I love. Watch this. I don't know how to flip houses yet. That statement just went from can't, right? Boring, done, self-limiting to what? Empowering. It gave you what? There's one word I'm looking for. What's it give you when you say, I don't know how to flip houses yet? Hope. That's the word. Hope. And hope is powerful. Hope is a powerful thing, guys. My daughter's basketball team, she's 14, my middle daughter, and she's 14 on the basketball team, they went to play a team that they had beat before. So they went into the game thinking, big deal. None of us slept the night before, we're at a party, never a good time at the hotel, blah, 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 and they went in that day, and all of a sudden that team pulled within four or five of them before they beat him by like 20. What started to happen with that team? All of a sudden, they actually pulled ahead. They ended up not winning the game, but they pulled ahead for a bit because why? What did they have all of a sudden when the, when the scores start getting closer? Hope. And hope is powerful, baby. When you can create hope in your life, you can start to do a lot of things. You can do it by adding simple words. It's a simple tool. I can't pay off all this debt yet. I have no idea how to retire wealthy yet. I don't know how to grow my business yet. I'm not happy yet. I'm not living a life that I love yet. Much better. So if you're tempted to say I can't, which is a phrase forbidden in our house, have the courage to add the word yet. Okay? If you're tempted to say I can't, have the courage to add the word yet. So I want you to start hacking your thoughts by asking how can I? I'll tell you that myself and my team, you'll notice we're all wearing bracelets and you have them in front of you. If you want to participate with us, you certainly can. Mine's on all the time. If you look closely at it, it says live it on the one side, which is our values for Vester Pro, right? On the other side, it says, how can I? How can I? And I'm going to tell you why it's powerful to remind yourself of this sentence you're going to hear all weekend long, how can I? So let's talk about this for a minute. Hack your thoughts by asking yourself, how can I? So we had yet was kind of the starting point. Now we're going to say, how can I? Empowering questions. How can I learn to flip houses? How can I pay off all this debt? Doesn't that sound better? These are empowering questions. How can I retire wealthy? How can I grow my business? Right? How can I be happy? How can I live a life I love? If you say to yourself, the first sentence we have, I can't flip houses, your subconscious mind says, all right, what else do you want to discuss? You just told your brain you can't flip houses, and your brain's like, all right, you want to get a sandwich? <laughs> right? You, you say to yourself, I, I, I can't pay off all this debt. Okay. What's well, on Netflix? <laughs> but that's what happens. What, what's your brain going to do? Your brain has no place to go. You say, I can't. Your brain says, all right. If you remember Henry, Henry Ford, you know, you want to go back 100 years, but he was right. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Our thoughts create our reality. So if you tell yourself you can't, your brain has no place to go. It has no what? Right. Your brain has no hope. I can't do this. All right. You're the boss. You tell me what to think. So I guess you're right. But if you change that sentence around and say, how can I? You suddenly have hope. And what happens? You are thinking about this not just consciously, but unconsciously. I have to sometimes snap myself and remind myself. I say, I'm not doing this right. I'm not, this house didn't come through. I'm not making this work. Or whatever my goal might be, I say, wait, 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 wait. How can I? You know, when you teach your kids this, it'll bug the shit out of you because your kids will come back and go, how can I, Dad? You can't say I can't. No, shut up. <laughs> I'm the father here. Let me be miserable for a minute. And I tell you guys this stuff because, you know, I want you to know I've not mastered this. I'm working on it every day. I'm always trying to be better. I don't think I'll ever master it. Maybe it's farther ahead than most people because I just work on it more than most people. But it's an ongoing struggle. 
right? It's an ongoing struggle that you're always working on. But if you have the tools, if I give you the tools in your tool pouch, now you know what to pull out when you have a bad thought. You say, oh, I can't make this work. I can't find any houses. How can I find houses? Ah, oh, that's a different conversation. Now I can start looking for answers for that because I've asked the right question. Ask the right question, get better answers. Tell yourself a statement and it's true. Simple as that. 